PBM Demo Equipment Motor Management System PBM Demo Equipment is a system for engine protection that allows us to perform functional tests on a Phenox relay, generating various faults in the engine. For these probes we have the Relay Protection Phenox PBMB, the Display Module PBMH, different systems for generating fouls, an engine, and a brake. PBMB includes auxiliary voltage terminals, reset input terminals, toroidal transformer voltage terminals, PTC terminals, output relay for tripping, output relay for alarm, communication terminals, reset button, and alarm signaling LEDs. RJ45 connector for to PBMH display or PC. PBMH display consists on a display, six configurable LEDs, and nine keys for navigation. Through the switches and buttons we can generate different failure conditions that will be detected by the relay in order to protect the engine. The reasons of failure that we can generate will be overload, phase unbalance fault, short circuits of the PTC probe, over temperature by PTC probe and differential ground fault. Trip times may be controlled by the timer. The PBM demo equipment has a real engine to perform all tests, as well as a brake to prove faults at JAM or locked rotor. The first step will be to define the general settings of the engine that we want to protect. The general settings will be a rated current of 0.8 amp. Current transformer ratio of 1 in order that the passage of the cables is direct through the relay. The line frequency is 50 Hz. The limit of the engine start is 1.5 amps. In this case, we have set engine starting time at 0 seconds. This way the relay will consider that the engine is started in the initial conditions. And the sequence of phases is ABC in direct sequence. Overload. The first fault that we are going to generate is a failure by overload. We start the engine at rated conditions. The motor will start running. And then generate. We will create an overload that will increase the current drawn by the motor. Also the thermal memory will increase gradually, tripping the alarm over the 40% of the value which is the set value. And when the thermal memory reaches 100%, the relay shall deem that the engine is excessively hot and stop it. The overload preset functions are Permit of the function which in this case is enabled Tripping value That is adjusted to a 1.15 times of the rated current Trip class in this case class 5 Automatic ventilation that we don't have it. And overload signaling alarm, in this case at 40%. We start the engine at rated conditions. And we can see in the measure section the consumption of it. In this case 0.8 amps approximately. We can see that the thermal memory increases progressively until reaching a point of equilibrium. In case of generating an overload, thermal memory increases much more quickly due to the motor consumption, which has increased almost to double. When the alarm has exceeded the 40%, LED alarm indicator has been switched on. 
thermal memory will increase into rising up to the value of 100%, which represents an excessively hot state of the engine, and the relay will stop it. As soon as thermal memory has about reached 100% of its value, the relay has considered that the engine was too hot and should be protected and stopped. The thermal memory will start to descend, representing the cooling cycle of the engine, and will allow reconnecting the engine when its value has fallen below the adjusted alarm value, in this case 40%. Once engine starts, there is power consumption again so the thermal image starts increasing again. If we remove the overload fault, thermal image rises progressively to a point of equilibrium placed around 69% of its value. In rated conditions, the relay considers that the engine is in a point of stable temperature and it will continue operating without interruption. When the thermal image reaches this point of equilibrium, the value remains constant. Phase loss. Next engine fault that we are going to generate is a phase loss. Phase loss function settings are the following ones permit of the function which in this case is enabled. The percentage of unbalance set to a value of 30%. If the let through current is less than 30% of the set value, PBM will consider that there is a phase loss. And finally the trip time in this case set to 5 seconds. We start the engine at rated conditions and we see that the current consumption is 0.77 ampere. If we generate a phase loss in phase 8, the current consumption disappears, and the relay stops the engine once the 5 seconds that we have adjusted for tripping have passed. The relay is set in such a way that it performs an automatic reset after 5 seconds. If the reason of absence continues, it attempts to protect the engine again. If the reason that absence disappears, the engine will continue running without interruption. Over temperature by PTC. We will generate a trip caused by an over temperature PTC probe. The PTC function settings are only the permit of the function. We start the engine at rated conditions. And we generate a fault by PTC probe. PTC's probe trip is instantaneous and will not be reset until that failure has gone. As long as the fault remains, the relay will not attempt again to start the engine. Once the fault is gone, after 5 seconds the relay attempts again to start the engine. PTC F short circuit. If there is a malfunction of the probe, being in short circuit for example, the relay will consider that the engine can continue operating, but it will need maintenance work. This will be indicated by a flashing of the LED. We have the indication in the LEDs and in the display as well. Entering the PTC probe status menu, we see that there is no over temperature fault, but there is an alarm switched on due to a short circuit of the probe. If the short circuit disappears, or if it is repaired by maintenance personnel, the status of the short-circuited probe turns off, and it will simply need a reset of the cause of signaling.
to find time differential earth fault. The next fault that we are going to generate will be a differential earth fault in this case, with defined and fixed trip time. The function settings are Permit of the function which in this case is enabled Tripping tap set to 100 mA and operation time adjusted to 0.2 seconds time. We start the engine at rated conditions. And using this button we will generate a differential earth fault. The relay will stop the engine. And once it detects that the fault has disappeared, allows resetting it without interruption. If the fault keeps on, when try to start the engine, PBMP will trip again. If the fault disappears, the engine restart happens in a normal way. Locked rotor. The last fault that we are going to generate will be a locked rotor. Locked rotor function settings are Permit of the function, which in this case is enabled. Trip tap, set to 3.5 times the rated current. And trip operation time set to 5 seconds. Firstly, we will activate the engine's brake, which will generate the locked rotor. We start the engine. And after 5 seconds, the relay stops the engine to protect it. After 5 seconds, it will try again to restart the engine. The fault hasn't disappeared so, the relay will trip again. If we release the engine brake, the relay will allow the starting of the engine, and it will work in an uninterrupted way. These devices protect and control the engines of the Greater Biomass Power Plant of Spain in San Juan El Puerto, Uelva. For more specific information in English visit www.fanox.com.